With over 200,000 Russian troops amassed on the Ukrainian border right now, Russia could invade the much smaller country at any time. But will that actually happen? Joining us now for more is U.S. Navy SEAL and the man who shot and killed Osama bin Laden in May of 2011. Robert O'Neill back with us on the show. Uh, Robert, great to have you back on. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Thanks for having me. Um, it's our pleasure. You were on the show on Friday, and we talked about what the weekend would look like with the Olympics wrapping up Sunday night. Uh, Putin and the Chinese president seem to be buddy-buddy uh, right now. I think a lot of people expected last night to be night one of this invasion. Um, apparently, Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin are going to get together a little bit later this week. The Kremlin is denying that. Um, I don't know if we'll make it to Thursday, uh, but what do you make of where we are right now with this possible invasion? Well, it was supposed to be imminent on Wednesday. Everyone was imminent. Every Everyone around was saying, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. It didn't happen. Uh, they said, they being Russia, we're going to test some missiles, which they did hypersonic missiles on Saturday. When that happened, everyone thought it was an invasion. It's not. It's just, it's Russia just flexing their muscles. And yeah, they're talking to uh, to China because I think as far as I'm, that you know, overseas, our, our defense, our most important thing is Taiwan, not Ukraine. We really have no interest in Ukraine other than a lot of the big companies making a whole bunch of money by sending missile systems and all kinds of whatnot they, over there. Um, you know, obviously, I think Taiwan's more important than Ukraine, and I think the border uh, with Mexico is our most important thing. But we completely ignore that. There's not a lot of money in that, and uh, it's not politically correct. So that's that's where we're at right now. They might Putin and Biden might meet, or uh, President Biden's staff. Or somebody might meet like that. But Putin's just up there. Just he, he loves watching us spend money for nothing. Europe can defend itself. Ukraine's not a democracy, and they're not a part of NATO. Yeah. Yeah, you think uh, Putin, he always talks about what the U.S. national debt is. He loves watching us toil and spend money. You make a good point about China. We're going to have uh, Gordon Chang, who's an expert on the topic, joining us in just a little bit. Um, Let's say we do see an invasion. Uh, there are 200,000 troops. That's the biggest force we've seen amassed in Europe since World War II. Uh, if this does happen, what would an occupied Ukraine look like? I think if you watch some of the other networks, it seems like this is going to be, you know, the Gulf War in 1991 will be in and out in a couple of weeks. It's not going to be like that. This could be an occupation. Um, the Russian army could go door to door. Ukrainians, uh, this could be really ugly, couldn't it? Oh, it could be very ugly. It, if the Russians decide with full force to invade, they'll take Kiev lightning quick. It'll, it will be a, 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 a basically a superpower army beating uh, an army that's not. Uh, I have been to Ukraine, though, and they're very, very proud. So the problem's going to be, just like everyone who fights in Afghanistan, it's going to be the insurgency afterwards. It's going to be the roadside right. bombs. People are willing to fight to their death there. I, I was in uh, in Ukraine after after the fall of the Soviet Union, training with their special forces, and they hate Russia so much. Even if they were speaking Russian, they wouldn't say it was Russian; it was Ukrainian. Uh, they're two different languages, obviously, but that, that they they don't do anything Russian. They hate the Russians, and they're, they're just like I said. Vladimir Putin's trying to destroy the dollar. He's wanted to ever since we won the Cold War uh, in the uh, you know couple decades ago. But yeah, they'll they'll invade quickly. I appreciate you know how excited they are to defend their country. But it's one thing to train with wooden weapons. It's another thing when tanks are rolling on you. So it would be fast. It'd be very very violent. A lot of people would uh, would die. The thing that concerns me the most, and is politicians everywhere, both sides of our aisle and all over the world, they, right. they love the word nuclear. It's the scariest thing imaginable. I mean, it's it, it's it's one thing to talk about it on social media. But having life as you know it go away, that's a big, big problem. they got to stop throwing that around. Those are very dangerous. you got to figure there's basically two guys in the world with a hand on a button. They could be launched in 10 minutes. That's, that's a scary notion. Um, and you're right, Afghanistan, that, that Russian invasion of Afghanistan in the 80s bankrupted Russia. Uh, we could see a huge resistance from the Ukrainian people if Russia does, in fact, invade. Robert O'Neill, come back and see us soon. Um, this will develop throughout the week. We'll stay on top of it. Thank you.